You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. I don't think I can graduate with the others. What's the problem? Is it the same course? What course are you talking about? Advanced political philosophy. You are not the only person who's having problems with that course. Of all the members of Poor Confraternity has not been able to make it. How do you know this? Ah, the news is everywhere. What's that woman's name? Miss Linda O'Connor, or whatever she calls herself. I mean, that woman is an, is an evil woman. She's a devil. She virtually knows all the courtists in this campus. And she has vowed that nobody will pass her course. I think I'll have to snuff that bitch out. No, don't even think about it, bro. I mean, a lot of attempts has been made in her life. And all were futile. And what we're considering now is going to beg the woman. Beg? With the poor confraternity beg anybody, then they're useless. Useless! And that's what I found out. That the confraternity is nothing and useless. Bro, let's beat everybody and go and beat that woman. All she wants to hear is that you've denounced courtism and she'll give you your results. I'm not begging anybody. If I beg that woman, I think I'm going to die. I can't beg a woman. I see you spending the rest of your life on this campus. <laughs> because if you don't beg that woman, you are not going to pass a course. Me, I'm joining others. And Hyde and others are waiting for me. I'm a P warrior to the end. Beg any bagger. Who be the bagger self? Windy, I'm sorry to tell you this. Do you know you're a terrible friend? You're the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Really? Yes. I don't understand. How will you understand? Look, why are you blaming me? Why are you angry at me? Because I am not the one that gave you the abysmal 80% that you scored in the exam. I am not, so stop blaming me! I've really had it up to here with you. You know what? Don't you ever listen and listen real good. Don't you ever call my number again. If not, I'll smoke your ass. Nonsense. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you think you can stay away from me, huh? Mm -hmm. I know that you cannot. You cannot do away with me, okay? Because I... I'm Wendy, the outstanding money star in this campus. Everybody want to talk to me. I'm just shining and glamouring. Oh, let's not forget. I picked you up and cleaned you up. Okay, try me this time around and you know the kind of person I am. Idiot. Oh, <laughs> look at you, look at your ass. I picked you up and I cleaned you up. I know you're going to come back to me, okay? Look at you, dirty girl, crazy ass. I don't even have time for you. Yo, have you arranged the money? Gosh, you make me sick. Can't you do anything without money? No, listen. The answer is an emphatic yes, okay? And uh, I can't get involved in that deal without the money. So you better arrange it up front and you do it soon. Where are you? I want to come there right now. You know where I am. And if you're coming, you better be ready. I'm Hajidi, the Chief Security Officer of the Palace of Olasi Kingdom. I learned you went to see the King, so I came to ask who you are. I am Stephen Ogene, a Senior Police Officer. 
a commanding officer to be precise. I was referred here to this palace for a ritual. And I'm glad I'm talking to the chief security officer. Ulasi Kingdom is a sacred land of rituals. You'll be surprised the kind of things that happen when the king is seated on his throne. Now, let me ask, which of the rituals do you want? Is it one I can handle or one that must wait until the king sits on his throne? Yeah, the ritual I want is the one that must wait until the king sits on his throne. Very well then, you have to return after 21 days. 21 days? Yes. Is the king not in town? A senior police officer needs to be presented with Kula in the palace of Ulasi Kingdom. Come with me. Let me tell you why you have to wait here after 21 days. Honestly, I'm listening to you because of God. Um, I'm sorry. You have to understand what I'm saying. I'm very, very sorry. Um, I'm very sorry for everything that happened. Wendy is a very bad girl. She, she made me do a lot of horrible things that I'm not supposed to do. You know, I'm ready to align with responsible girls like you because I want to graduate with you guys. So what was your score in the exam? I had 18%. I've already spoken to the lecturer and she said that I have to pass her course, so I want you to teach me. It is okay. It's never too late to turn a new leaf. Okay. We'll guide you properly. Uh -huh. Alright, no problem. Okay? <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. I'm indebted to you guys. I mean, you guys have to help me out. It's okay, it's okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, Yeri. We'll see you later now. Bye. 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 Many of you were lured into this unacceptable act because of unsubstantiated promises of protection and campus connections. Well, I'm happy you've come to terms with the fact that cultism only brings you sadness and sorrow. Madam, you have no idea. You couldn't have put it better. I'm a new leaf. Personally, I'm even born again. I've been studying the Bible in-depthly. I just want to ask you to release our results. And believe me, God will bless you for it. I do not believe you. No matter what he is saying is true, you have to believe him. Trust me, we are practicing Christians. Well, here's what I think you should do. I want you to write your names boldly on a piece of paper and state very clearly that you have all denounced cultism. And then you have to paste it on the general notice board and on all the other notice boards on campus. By the time you do that, be sure to have your results released. Good day. Of course, you will see very soon. Why are you quiet? And why are you behaving as if you're not going to do anything? And uh, that's the truth, okay? Because actually I'm not doing anything. You had me right. But that was not the bargain. It's not. Look, you already have what you want. So why don't you do what we bargain? Look, I beg you. Please. All these years will amount to nothing if I fail to pass this course 
Please, I want to graduate with others. Man, listen. I don't have a spiritual strength, okay? To confront somebody like Miss Linda Ocon. She's not a normal human being. Listen, she's an expert in philosophy and sciences. <laughs> Guys like me that have the hope of a brighter future. Don't get near such ladies, okay? So why didn't you tell me all this crap from the onset? Why must you have me for hours and then you're not telling me you're not going to do anything? Why? <laughs> now listen, don't make me charge you for making use of a leftover of a dog. Really? Yeah. And what do you mean by that? Now listen, nothing happens in this town without my knowledge, okay? And Kakaki is my right hand man. I heard how you opened your cuspower house to a German shepherd that was you, that was cloned for something diabolical. He told you about it. He not only told me, he told everyone, okay? And I don't blame him. I blame you and your useless friends in your class who can open their legs, throw up anything because of cash. <laughs> no, no, no. Get up and walk out of this house. I don't want you. I don't want to get your legs here again. Once you walk out of here. I will I was this is the sacred bowl of the water of Ulasi Kingdom. The water level has remained like this since I was born and countless men and women have fetched buckets of water from it. If you come when the king is seated on the throne and his feet in the water and you humbly wash your face before him, every desire you have in your heart shall be granted, especially when he's happy. I was directed here by Chief Obasali. And he has already given me all the instruction. And the lectures he has given me are ah, okay. I have decided to humble myself and do the washing. Then come back after 21 days. You have already said that. And I wonder why you are asking me to come back after 21 days. Is the king not in town? There are some things I will not tell you about our kingdom. But I tell you, the king will not sit until after 21 days. Come back and do the ritual that most of the influential people of the society have done. What I'm trying to avoid may happen before 21 days. I tell you, it shall never be so with you, since you've already surrendered under the power of the King of Ulasi Kingdom. Your fear shall not be for you. woman is the chief priestess of all witches in this town. Yeah, thank God you know that. Trust me, she's gonna meet our Waterloo. See guys, I don't know what you're thinking, but what Miss O'Connor is asking us to do is a suicide mission. See guys, men of Derek of eternity will destroy us if we make the mistake of denouncing death publicly. Right, listen, there's a way to this thing. We can't waste five years in this. I don't want to get old here. You understand me? We need to do this thing and get out of here. Trust me, the way we can do it, we can do it and get out. Paste the names and just clear out. I think that, that, that's the only way we, we, we have to do this. Otherwise, she will not put our name on the resort board. I don't think you're getting it. What the woman wants to do is to use us as 
So all we need to do here is to insist that we have denounced cultism. You get that? No, we are getting it, trust me. And what we are getting is that if you don't want your name in the list, Shay, we will comfortably and carefully neatly omit your name. See, going ahead to do what the woman has to do. I will let you get it. What is this? You are the best one. No, 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 no. What is this? If you come back as instructed, you admit the king. But if you don't want to go back, I can make you our guests, give you one of the rooms in the guest house, and you'll be here for 21 days. But that will be too much a time to be a guest. I would rather go. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, this is the guy that um, called you about your baby sister. Why don't you settle this problem now? Why are you slacking? Who is this? The same guy that um, told you about your baby sister. Why won't you handle that, that that situation? What do you mean by that? I, do you mean that to tell me that you don't have any other work to do than to follow my sister around? See this man. Listen, mister. Don't even start that with me. I'm just trying to help out. Huh? What, what, it's, what, you, what, oh, you mean I don't have work to do? I'm just a concerned Nigerian that is trying to help out. That idiot of no identity. And you're here, the only thing you can come up with is I'm 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 stalking a, a guy that handle your family problems. So hear me? You can see that girl gets pregnant. You're looking at three places of the ugliest kids you've ever seen in your life. Let's go. student who never gets broke and you never go home. How do you get money? Where do you get money from? <laughs> baby, baby. I've told you I'm from a humble background and I'm a noble man. Okay. Too many things are part of that nobility. Yeah, too many things that you say also that get me so confused. I think that you should... Hello, brother. Yeah, I'm calling from Olasa Kingdom. Before I get home tonight, I want you to be there waiting for me. Brother, what are you doing at Ulasi Kingdom? I understand you are still going out with that whatever. It is obvious you don't have respect no more. I want you to be there. Waiting for me. If not, you will see the officer in me. I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait. I... I just heard uh, Olasi Kingdom. What, what did he go to do there? I don't know. He just says he's in Olasi Kingdom and he wants me to be home tonight before he gets back. But I want you to go with me. <laughs> oh, baby, please, please, please. Don't tell me that. Are you out of your mind? You want your brother to kill me? My brother cannot kill my fiance. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 Fine, I understand what you're saying, but going there is like throwing myself into a lion's den, and I would not know. Listen, my brother is used to intimidating people. I want you to intimidate him this time. Come on. I mean, he'll be so shocked to see you in his house that the officer in him will disappear. Oh, no, 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 no. no.
So, have you pasted copies of this on the notice boards as I instructed? Yes, Auntie. I, I pasted it in all the faculties. I even had to extend it to University Mengate. Mm. See, Auntie, what we did is suicidal. We were just banking hope on your promise that nothing will happen to us. Hmm. Interesting, but not impressive enough. Sunday Daho is your name quite right. And uh, everybody knows you on this campus as Sabata. So you have to go back to your printer and make a little correction. I want you to write Sabata very boldly in a bracket beside your name. Is that clear? Auntie, please don't kill us. Auntie, we will die. Auntie, I know the court I belong to. The fact that we, we, we put our official names is, is even suicidal, it's dangerous enough. See, please, spare us those popular names, please. It's okay. Get yeah. up. Yeah? No, get up, get up. Thank you. Hmm. Um, you and your colleagues can go and check the exams and records department, say, next tomorrow, and see who passed and who failed. Now, for those of you who failed, they should go to Elumelu Obo so that he will put them through on how to pass my course. It is obvious that he's the only one that understands my course perfectly well, and he's the only one that can be trusted to teach it. So, you may leave now. Auntie, thank you very much. It's okay, get up. Auntie, we have fellowship this evening. In fact, that's where I'm going to. Will you be attending? I'll think about it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Leave my office. is certainly not part of your duties as an elder brother. I brought him here to formally introduce him to you as my fiance. You must be living in fool's paradise to ever think I'll allow you marry this papa of no class. Then give him class, brother. Give him class if he has no class because I love him. Why are you doing this? I have powers, but I don't like using the powers. Get out of my house. I said get out. Okay. Brother, you can't ask him to get out now. Anyway, brother, brother, anyway. What? Anyway, brother, why are you doing this? What is going on? Understand, it's not your fault. I, I hold nothing against you. It's okay. Where are you now? Well, uh, I'm actually outside. I'm, I'm looking for a place to spend the night. Maybe a hotel or something. Do you have any money? Oh, don't worry. I can always find my way. Illuminu, can you hold on for me for like five minutes wherever you are? Just wait. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Maybe. Don't tell me you want to defy your brother. Just hold on for me, please. I'll call you back soon. Madam, 
I am an officer and I am trained to obey the last order. And the order from the boss is that I should not allow the guy to sleep in this compound. Officer, since you've stayed here, you've always asked me for favors and I've never turned you down. Why do you want to refuse me this last favor I ask you, please? Just let him spend a night at the guest house, please. Madam, why are you asking me to do something that's going to put me into trouble? My boss is going to be mad at me if I allow the guy to sleep in this compound. Please, officer, I've dated this man for four years and he's unique. He gives me luck. All I ask you is this night and he leaves early tomorrow morning. Please, I beg you, please. Thank you very much. He's at the gate. Just get him at the gate. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello. Listen, the officer is going to accommodate you in the guest room at the gate. Just come back to the gate. Oh, wait, I... I don't understand you. You mean I should come back to the gate? Are you sure I'm not in trouble? Please, trust me on this one. Just come back, okay? Please. Bye. Please uh, try not to oversleep because she assured me you're leaving very early and I want you to do exactly that. Please. Uh, uh, thank you very much, officer. I really appreciate your understanding. Uh, you're welcome. They are planning to transfer me from the office I have been working for years and I'm not finding that funny. Brother, I was not the one that said they should transfer you. Is that the reason why you are so hostile to a man I introduced to you as my fiance? Shut up. Shut up, Michelle. I have a friend of mine whose brother is coming to marry you. And that is the man for you. And if now you are sure that you want to get married, then you should start thinking of the man I'm telling you. Brother, you expect me to leave a man I've been dating for four years and follow somebody I don't even know? You see, you don't know him. But I do. He's a good man. And I know he is going to be a good husband. I do not need a good husband, brother. I have a Lumeru already. Don't you understand? I love that man. But he has this aura of nobility that gives me so much luck. He's given me so much luck since I got into the university. What else do you want me to do? But that if you don't allow me to marry Lumelu, then I'm going to have to stay with you in this house forever and ever. I won't go anywhere. Come back here. Has he come to the... That you are working out on Steve Ogini, a senior police officer. I do not know you as a senior police officer. I know you as Steve Ogini, my elder brother. The one who my father charged to take care of me before he died. But if you want to make my life miserable, I'm going to go to our father's grave and report you to him. I report you to him, oh! Is this 
inside of a second. Thank you so very much. Did you serve him dinner? Yeah, I gave him a um, dinner and uh, bottles of beer. Oh, thank you, thank, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Please let me tell him good night. Okay. I'll see him tomorrow morning too. gone to Olasa Kingdom as instructed and I met the chief palace security. He asked me to come back after 21 days. So why are you worried? You've already gotten an appointment. People have been going there for months without an appointment. You are lucky to have one. Actually, I'm not here to discuss my mission to Will last a kingdom. I'm here to discuss my sister. Your sister? Yes. Is she in danger or what? No. But she threatened to go to my father in his grave to report me for making a credible decision for her. What do you mean by credible decision? She brought a man I don't like. And I told her that she would not marry him. Why would you dabble into your sister's affair? Especially when it comes to marriage. She's a university graduate for crying out aloud. She should be trusted to make her own choice. Yes, but... But I should be able to know who is the man coming to my sister. I agree with you. But if she insists, you don't have a choice. Show me a woman that was frustrated into marrying a wrong man. And I will show you a woman that is in sorrow forever. You cannot register your sister in that class. No, you can't. There are so many things I do. I mean, some say I'm a radical, others say I'm a troublemaker, others say I'm a gambler. But the general truth is that I'm not an arm robber, and I will never be. <laughs> Why don't you find out what the deal is first, you understand? Don't be complicating simple issues. Find out what the deal is, you know, well, we, this is something we need to pull off without arms. I hope you know that. How do you intend to steal the ancient Olasis too without arms? Do this easy. We get into the town, anchor somewhere, case the place for a few days. We know when to operate. Get in there, move this tool, come out, big boys. I have a buyer from New Zealand as we speak that's going to pay top dollars for it. It's an obvious truth you're not from Olasi. So, how do you get this information? You don't concern yourself with little matters. The point is that the thing is there. Now that that evil bitch has released us and we're free and we can get into orientation camp, let's make a big deal out of it. This is like a sign out. You understand me? We're just ruling the big boys, run the place the way we've been running the campus. Our own cars, our own women, our own... Buy up the police. A guy, I know you want in on this thing. You know, this is what we live for. Yeah. It used to be our way of life. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't want to get myself in criminal invasion of any palace. If you look at me now, you will see I'm a new Sabata. And I want to leave this campus a new person. A clean person, a focused person. Well, okay, then I guess the old and the new can mix now. You understand? Since you're brand new now and um, the cargo in crime, it's in simple. You go find space, you understand? Your big body has been occupying all this space on the bed since. Wendy! Are you sure she's around? I don't know. Yeah, Wendy! I don't know. This girl started again, oh! Ah, she didn't call her now. Call her. I've been trying to call her number all this while, and it's not going. I don't know what is happening to this girl. Let's just check. Jesus! Jesus! What's that? Jesus, where is this? 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 Where is
please now wake up. Windy! 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 Windy, that is going to do this now, Windy! Why? Why? Windy, wake up! Windy, wake up! Windy, wake up now! Windy, 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 wake up! Wake up, boy! Oh, Windy! Ah! Oh, my God, it's Windy! Windy! I feel so indebted to you for all the love you've shown me. I'm so sure that our love will conquer all obstacles. Baby, are you promising me that, that you'll always be there for me? My love, I'm not only promising you, I'm saying that you can vouch for me anywhere. I'll always be there for you, always. Thank you, thank you. That's all I need to hear. Thank you. And you can always visit me in Olasi. God knows I will marry you when God softens your brother's heart. Yes. Now I'm wondering, how am I supposed to trace you when I come to Olasi Kingdom? Well, Elomenu Obo is not my name in Olasi. It's strictly my academic name. You don't call me that. <laughs> Why? So what do they call you? <laughs> well, oh, baby, believe me, if I tell you what they call me, I don't think you'll like me again. And you may not even want to see don't me Don't say that. Believe no. me. No. Listen, I love you. I love you so much. I love everything about you. And if I ever come to Lassie Kingdom and you're living in a mud house, I am going to so live there with you. I like that. Okay. Uh, when you come to Lassi, tell them you're looking for Aminabo the 16th. Even a child born today knows where I live. Aminabo the 16th? That's a name, a title. I mean, what is that? <laughs> well, that's what they call me in Olasi. And when a boy is not my name. Just call me Aminabo the 16th and they'll show you where I live. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too. I'm going to miss you. I miss you. Just hold me. of Olasi Kingdom, yeah. we are happy to grant the arrival of His Royal Majesty, our King, the Amalabo 16th of Olasi Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I am happy to be home. 
The last wish of my father, Amayin Abo, the 15th of Olasa Kingdom, was that I go back to school and complete my degree program. That wish has been obeyed. And today, Amayin Abo, the 16th, King of Olasa Kingdom, is a graduate. <laughs> I thank my able cabinet members for the support and understanding which you have shown me. Thank you, Your Highness. I am back. And I am back. You're welcome. And we're happy to welcome you. You're welcome, Your Highness. You're welcome, Your Highness. Indeed, this occasion to welcome me is truly appreciated. Tomorrow morning, we shall gather again for the first cabinet meeting in four years. We shall take various decisions. I thank you. <laughs> and for those of you who will be free, you're invited to the Royal Bank. Your Royal Highness. Why would you ask the maidens to stop throwing roses at your feet? It is their duty to do that. My princess, casting of roses at my feet is hereby prohibited. These innocent and hardworking maidens who suffer to cast these roses will still clear the rubbish at dawn. It means time is being wasted, and I will not allow that. There are other things the maidens can do to improve the palace. Maidens. Yes, Your Highness. No more casting of roses at my feet. Am I clear? Yes, yes Your, Your Highness. Highness. Good. And I remember, guards. Your yes, Highness. Highness. I want all the royal crests on these cars removed immediately. Yes, Your Highness. From now on, they will bear normal registration. Am I clear? Yes, Your, yes, Your Highness. Highness. Good. And now to you, my beautiful sister. <laughs> Please, take my hand. I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> about the 16th to whitewash the council as his father. Am I about the 15th? Can you look me in the eye and tell me that you and all the elders who sit with me in council as cabinet members are not a bundle of busybodies. I am sorry, Your Majesty, but don't you think you are angry with the council for nothing? You took us on our ways. That was why we did not know what to say. <laughs> Competent men decisive men, original warriors and natural leaders of men are known when they are caught unawares. 
your counsel cannot come up with any solid con conclusion on the flimsy reason that you were caught on a west shows me on a glaring format that I am surrounded by idiots. And I'll deal with all of you. Yes, I'll deal with you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But don't you think you are making very wetty pronouncements? Get out. Get out! Your Majesty. I said, get out! To, 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 to the great Anna's shrine for sacrifice. Now go to your colleagues that nobody appears before the king without being prepared. Go! Ha! Idiots. us to be prepared for the first cabinet meeting in four years. What do we tell the young king? It's your letter. This meeting is not necessary. The young man in question is not as ruthless and brutal as his father. The best we will do as men of the ruling class is to go to him, sit down and listen to all he has to say. You don't start to fight for what is still unknown. Then, the first thing we must tell him is to marry. And a minor boy should not be a single man. We have allowed this long interregnum because he was out obeying the orders of the former a minor boy. Now that he is back in the kingdom, we should press him to marry. And our my neighbor is the ultimate decision maker. He is the direct representative of Olisa. Kansu must not dictate to him when to marry or not. Forget about his age. He still remains our my neighbor. He should marry when he wants to. Nzemanze, <laughs> I am not comfortable with how you are sounding. I am sorry. But I have to tell you, what we will do as men of the ruling class is to support him. Remember you had problem with the former king? Don't let this young boy start seeing you as a conspirator. He may place pass on you. No, he has the power. Sometimes this your joke does not work. I will slap you. I said that you move. Okay, you move. Move.
Sie ruhig, wo Gott im Himmel zu. Okay. Das ist ein Bier, mein Bier, mein Bier. Stop crying now. What am I supposed to feel? Oh ja, yeah. listen. At the count of two. We we'll just leave it and get out of here. I'm a bad man, a bad man. Okay. I don't want the money anymore. Okay. One. Yes. Two. Let's leave it. Eight. We can't even go up with that girl. Eh? We don't want it anymore now. On my own. When he said we should come here, shut up. Shut up. Honestly, I, oh, I, I didn't shut up. I didn't know where we were going. You came into Ulasi Kingdom to steal the bowl of living water? You are in trouble. Majesty, I am only pleading that you tamper justice and forgive this common criminal who invaded the sacred palace of Olasi Kingdom to steal only a tuber of yam. We have confirmed he has no food in his house. That's why he stole just a tuber of yam. One tuber of yam. I forbid you to shut up. I speak no further. Theft is theft. The simplest of the crime is capable of bringing down this kingdom. Your Majesty, I am only pleading. It is unheard of in our last kingdom that a hungry man is executed just for stealing one two bar of yam. Chienzimanzi, I order you to speak no more. I am the king of this land. And I rule according to my conscience. Oh, there are many who say that I do not have a conscience. And I insist they are all lunatics. Yeah. You. You invaded the royal palace to steal. <laughs> <laughs> because you have no conscience. Oh, please. The verdict stands. This man must be executed immediately. It will serve as a deterrent to all the other people who are planning to invade the sacred palace. Under pressure to punish you for this invasion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I'm so weak in my kind this is last night. I'm sorry. Do you remember what I told you the day you pushed me and pointed a gun at me? Sorry. I told you that. It's not noble to kill a man who has done nothing to you. Considering the abomination which you have committed in my land, don't you think you deserve nothing but death? 
I just am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Son, my son, are you disappointed that uh, I executed the criminal? You shouldn't be. He deserved no less than death. Father, that young man was about to starve to death. He didn't come to the palace to, to steal silver, gold or diamond. He only stole a tuber of yam. Father, your execution order is wrong. It has no human face. <laughs> <laughs> is that not where you lost your case? Human face? <laughs> What would I do with a human face? I am a king. Whatever I do must have the face of the king. The face of power and authority. The face of supremacy to protect my people. <laughs> My son, whatever you do, you must never do anything with human face in mind. You must always do things with the face of supremacy. Father, that young man is going to die for stealing a tuber of yam. And his blood will be on your head. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem, 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 problem. <laughs> you see, I shall go back to my ancestors in fulfillment that I have been a decisive king. Son, many people will be if you say you want Oh yes, they will want to reduce you to nothingness, put you on the same level as women, as nothing. Oh yes, they will provoke you, knowing that once they apologize and beg, you will forgive them. Always surprise them with constant brutality then they will forever respect you as a strong man If I should do what my father advised me to do, under the present circumstance, it would be horror as never seen. of tomorrow and because I believe in the supremacy of God. Ajire. Your Majesty. Let's treat them to a royal banquet yes, and teach them that crime does not pay. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. 
wisdom. I'm sorry for pointing your gun at you at school. Fifteen million naira. You have twelve hours to pay the money, or else you never see your sister again. 